so hi all today we are going to discuss about what is bench period in tcs we will discuss few more points like how long would be your bench period and does location affect number of calls that you will be getting for projects after joining tcs then we will discuss what happens if you are so long on bench in tcs i mean will your employment will be affected or last, not i will give you tips and tricks through which you can get your project easily during bench period so guys all of you know that tcs is service based company not a product based company so you can get project in two cases the first one is either tcs gets a new project from a client in that case in that project there will be so many vacancies and they can call you within one week and second thing is that either some people resigned from a particular project and there may be some vacancies in that project in that case they can call you and you may be allocated in that project so it totally depends upon the business requirement and the time at which you are joining tcs the bench period is time during which you are not allocated to any project in tcs okay now let's discuss the next thing that is does location affects number of calls for projects so guys yes it affects i am telling you with the help of an example let's suppose you join tcs bangalore as all of you know that bangalore is silicon valley of india so there will be huge number of projects in bangalore so probability of getting project in bangalore is very high so bench period for bangalore is very less than bench period at base location of bhubneshwar suppose somebody thought that my home is near bhubneshwar so let's join tcs bhubneshwar but tcs bhubneshwar has less number of projects as compared to bangalore in that case bhubneshwar has less number of project so there is high probability that you will be bench in bhubneshwar for longer period of time so my suggestion is try to pick locations like pune hyderabad bangalore bombay because they have more number of project so your bench period will be less in that locations now next thing is what happens if you are so long on bench in tcs so in that case you will not get any appraisal for that year if you are not allocated for particular year and your salary will not be increased in that case second thing is that you get performance bonus every quarter and if you are unallocated then you will not get that performance bonus so that you are going to lose every quarter like 1500 or 1600 from tcs now second thing is that there is option of rejecting calls in tcs for project suppose you keep on rejecting the calls and your bench period has been increased to 6 month so after that you will get calls from rmg and if you still keep on rejecting the call then after certain period of time they may terminate your job also so guys please do not reject the call after 3 or 4 months because it will hamper your career how to get project during bench period in tcs so guys when you are on bench you just sit idly you do not do anything because you are not allocated in that you have a lot of time in that time you should do some certification in which you want to get allocated like if you want to get allocated in java project you should do java certification also you should try to code on lead code gigs for gigs or any other portal like that because there is it boom right now and you may get good package or good offer from other companies so guys i have already made a video how to resign within one year if you are not allocated in tcs and if you are unallocated in tcs then you can easily resign managers can easily accept your resignation you are not required to serve a notice period you have to just pay around 93k in two installments to get out of tcs 